Attention, you are about to leave the route. The route is 20 meters behind you. Yeah, thanks for that. <clears throat> I've got the navigator on this morning because I've actually got no idea where I'm going. There's just snow covered everywhere and it's really, really difficult to find out um, the actual route. Because uh, the route. The route there you go. You. <laughs> the navigator, thanks for that. I'll, I'm, I'm going on to it now. Hi, Matt Bishop here. How are you? Uh, I'm in the Dolomites. I'm on a, on a holiday with the family skiing. Um, so the kids are out on a day with the ski saw going around on the skis, learning. My wife's out skiing as well, so I've taken the opportunity to take away a day and dedicate it for some, to for some photography. So I've, um, I'm going on a big hike. Uh, it's apparently a two hour hike to get to this place called Carezza Lake. Carezza Lake is in, in the Dolomites. It's you know the UNESCO World Heritage, the whole area of the Dolomites. And they actually say this is in the top five of the best places to see in all of the Dolomites. So I'm imagining it's gonna be a pretty beautiful place. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna see what happens. I mean, it's a two hour hike normally, but there's snow, as you can see. I've got my crampons if I need them. I haven't put them on yet. I've got my waders on if I, if I need them. I didn't bring my snowshoes with me, but it should be okay. Got on my hiking gear. I carried about 20 kilos so that I'm not missing anything. I've brought everything with me because I'm in the snow and I don't know what can happen. Um, so I'll take you on this journey with me and uh, let's see what happens at Carezza Lake if I get there. for about 30 minutes now in the snow. It's actually not as bad as what I thought it would be. Uh, so I've got, oh, according to there's a few um, signs around saying I'll go about another hour till I get there. So pretty happy. Let's hope that, um, that I find this place. And um, the scenery around here is just incredible. I just came across a few mountains and pulled out the 70 to 200 and took a quick few shots of these mountains just Peaks just straight coming out of the forest. It's just beautiful. Um, what an amazing part of the world. It's funny, I spend so much time closer to Rome where if I drive six or seven hours in a car, I can come to just epic peaks. Ah, oh, it's insane. I'm completely stuffed. Oh, it is not easy walk. Not easy, not easy walk. Not easy walking through the snow. And I'm a fit bugger. And I'm buggered. <laughs> anyway, out there is the Latimar Mountains. Behind this pine forest, there should be, should be, there has to be the lake. I'm going to be there in a minute. Let's see what happens. I don't even know which bloody direction to go. This way? Or this way? What about a few signs around for God's sake? I'll take it the hard way up and see what happens. You know when um, <laughs> things just don't go right for you? 
I'm a fit bugger. And that was hard work and I just lost the track, couldn't find where I was going. The heart rate started going up and then everything's just sort of gone downhill since then. You know why? Because you know that really, really cool lake that I was, um, that I was talking about? That's it. That's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the lake. It's frozen over. Obviously it's frozen over. Why, why wouldn't, why did I expect that there would be a lake this time of year? I'm in the middle of friggin' winter. Up here is like minus 15 degrees at night time. Why would there be a lake? That is just snow. Um, so, what does Matt Bishop do in this case? Well, it's, um, it's 1.30 now. So I would say, try and find somewhere to eat which I don't know where there's going to be anything to eat, and then scout around and try and find something interesting to photograph. I mean, we do have these mountains behind us, which they are pretty damn good, but they don't have the reflection of the water that I was after. I at least thought, look, it'd be a bit frozen. There'd be like this ice with the brakes in. I can get down and do some, um, some, some you know, close-up photography. But um, no, not even that. Anyway. It's good just to go for a walk. So I've just moved up further from the lake now, and you can see this area here of the lake. It, I don't know if it's hard for you to tell or not, but it, it's quite cleaner. You can actually tell it is a lake. It's got some form of form about it. About it. And um, you know, you've got these beautiful pine trees in the background, which at the moment, oh, they're black almost up against, the, um, up against this snow. Even my eyes are trying to get a dynamic range. It's such a powerful dynamic range with the mountains and the cloud in the back background there. Look, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not the best time of day to photograph, but I've got to, I've got to shoot with what I've got. And at the moment, I've got another two hour hike back to the hotel and I don't want to do it in, during the dark time. So I'm just making the best of these opportunities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture this scene and I might have to do a couple of exposures. So I'm pulling out the Pentax K1 and I'm going to mount it onto here and I'm going to take um, just a couple of shots a bit higher up, looking down onto that lake nice and wide and um, and I'll see how, how this scene comes up. So once I've taken this shot, I'll bring it up on the camera. Then from there, I'm then gonna pull the, uh, the Pentax K33 APS-C out with a 70 to 210 lens on it and focus in on some little, little patchy areas because the, the snow is so clean. If you look into some of these little rocky faces, there's quite some nice scenes to capture. So I'll take them as well and I'll bring up a bit or two to tell you what I think. From here I'm going to move on, scout around, walk around, find something for lunch and I might even be able to share something else with you. But for the moment, uh, this, is, this is what I've got, <laughs> unfortunately. But you know, that's part of landscape photography. You can't have it winners all the time, can you? had a walk around the lake around here and there's just um there's just nothing nothing it's catching my attention here unfortunately it's beautiful but there's nothing that photogenic it's just really screaming at me we're in the shade of the mountain right behind the back of this so there's no light coming in apart from these little bits of snow that are settled God, it's cold on the pine trees here there's not enough of it to to sort of justify a nice photo. Um, so, look, unsuccessful, I'm sorry guys. I really wanted to show you this place today and I was so, so, so excited about it. But it's just, it's just not happening. It's not happening, I know. Awful video, again. <laughs> um, so look, what I'm gonna do is, I've got a two hour, at least a two hour hike back to the hotel room. It's quarter past two now. By the time I stop along the way, have a drink. I don't have any food with me either, by the way, and everything's closed here. So um, I'm just gonna hike back, take the two and a half hour hike back, and um, 
get back before it gets dark, back to the hotel. There's a lot of dark areas through the forest. I don't want to be hiking at night time because there's a lot of, um, the, the, the actual walking track itself back to the hotel, there's not many signs for it. There's signs for other places, but not the actual town where I'm at. So I don't want to get lost. I've got to try and remember exactly where I walked and I don't want to do it in the dark. So I'm just going to go back slowly on the way up top of the hill. Sort of the first half an hour into the walk, there was a beautiful open area with some beautiful mountains behind the back with some nice snow. I'm going to stop there on the way back and see if I can get an image. Um, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Looks something might catch my attention on the way back. You guys will see it. Anyway, this place is definitely to come back to, but only come back after ski season. So I would say if you're ever going to be in the Dolomites and come to Caretzor Lake, come to Caretzor Lake sort of after April, all right? After April up until November. Um, otherwise, you're just going to, yeah, you're not going to see anything. The beauty of this place is actually have this lovely lake with reflections of the mountains in the background. And um, we didn't see it. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to come back. So let's see what happens on the rest of this day, guys. And again, I apologize. That's photography. Oh, not just, a, not just a mention, stupid me. I bought crampons with me. I haven't put them on. I just slipped over on the track. It was a big ice patch going uphill. Slid over. Smashed my vlogging camera on the ground. <sighs> Luckily enough, didn't do any damage to it. But um, I'm clumsy and I've broken that many lenses and stuff in time that... I can't risk just to be that stupid. So, look, this has got a front and a back on it. Here we go. There's the front, there's the back. Okay. Oh, I'll just put these little crampons on. It's got rubber rims around them. You just stretch them like an elastic band. Bang. And uh, they go straight under you. I've got gaiters on too, guys, which is really, 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 really important to have on. Oh, God, that's upside down. Oh. Gators are really, really important to have on too because, um, oh, my hands are freezing now. <laughs> I'm so, like, unplanned today. It's ridiculous. I feel, I don't know how many people out there go out in nature and then you're unplanned and you realise how powerful nature is and how weak you are as a human being sometimes. And, but you know what? Um... The, the photography today was unsuccessful, but the journey to get there wasn't. And I'm proud of myself to be able to push myself in these type of conditions in the snow and actually get to a location. Journey. So I've got my crampons on now. Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. Why didn't I put them on two hours ago? I had them. Why didn't I use them? second I've just decided to hike and leave there's a bit of light that's come through the background there look at these mountains this is just on the side of the road look at that shining up out there what I've done is I've quickly taken my zoom off and I put my 24 to 70 on thank god because I'm shooting at 50 and I usually don't bring this lens with me so I'm just hand holding when you god when you got to get the light sometimes it's just better just to hand held because um Oh, uh, look, I think I've got a really, really nice shot then. Don't worry about the road because I can crop that out later on. Um, I'm just zooming in and trying to get all those mountains in the background there. See them all lighting up now? Look how beautiful that is. When there's light, don't stuff around with your tripod. Just get your camera, bang and take it. If you've got time later on, get your tripod out later on. Uh, as long as you've got good shutter speed, it's not gonna get fuzzy. Um, you can always shoot a little bit wider and crop later on. All right, I'm gonna start moving now because I reckon on the way home, I'm gonna get something else. Just goes to show you never, ever, ever give up until you're actually home. <laughs>
Wow. You know, I was telling you before that that place I wanted to stop through it the way back. This is it. Look at that view over there, the mountains. I've got all this clean snow. I don't have time for sunset. I've got 20 minutes now because I've still got a long way hike back and I'm not doing it in the dark like I said before. There's just no way I can do it. It's too risky through here. So I've got this scene to shoot here and I've got another one on this side which I'll bring in, show you through in a minute. But I'm really loving this fresh dump of snow as my foreground. Just sort of, it's not necessarily a leading line because I can't find any patterns in the snow but it's just beautifully gradual, just taking you through to, uh, to those pine trees in the back there. So what the idea is here is uh, not to have your tripod down too low if you don't have any leading lines. Why? Because there is, it's just gonna be this big hunk of snow, this big slab of bleh right in front of you. So you want it as a very gradual uh, foreground not even a complete full thirds of your foreground, right? right? Back of there, the sun has got an hour and it's boom, it's hitting that direction. It's lighting up all those, those, um, those rock faces on the mountains in the background there. And even a little bit the foreground here and exposing some details in those pine trees. So I'm up nice and high. If I was down too low, I will cast a shadow on my foreground. So I'm staying up high and I'm zooming in and I'm now zooming in at 70 mils. I'm gonna take this shot and I'll show you exactly what it's like. And then I'm just gonna quickly uh, turn around and show you the other scene I've got on this side of us here. Without going too far into my foreground, that's that rock face at there. It's not as nice as that side because there's not much rock face. It's more pine tree and just a little bit at the top there. But um, it's still a nice mountain scene. I'm being that spoiled at the moment. I'm being picky. But I guarantee you, if I was just to rock up here out of nowhere, I'd be like, my God, look at that. When you're in these places, you tend to get spoiled after a while. So I'm lucky I've got this sun on my side. And I'm lo so lucky that a horrible day turned into a good one. After this scene, I'm going to hurry home, guys. So um, I'll show you the shots that I, that I took of these scenes when that light comes up nice, and then I'm out of here. For those of you who appreciate my photography, I thank you for watching, and if you're new, Please subscribe to my channel, like, make a comment. All that stuff always really, really helps in me um, building video content for the future. So uh, take care, everyone, and um, happy snapping. Happy snapping? My God, Matt, that was awful. Why don't I just say, okay, like, yeah, okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. No, bye-bye now? No, it doesn't work, does it? Okay, see you later, everyone. See you next time. That, that works a bit more, doesn't it? <laughs> Hurry up and get back, otherwise I'm gonna miss out on that apple strudel. Four to five thirty. It's four thirty. I'm not gonna make it, damn it. Oh well. Tomorrow. This is better than apple strudel though, that's for sure. Did I mention to you guys how good this tripod is?